The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Just a couple of little rain showers here or there, especially as you head into portions of Giles and or uh, Craig counties. We could certainly see these rain showers change over to snow showers over the next couple of hours. As, as the sun goes down, we will turn a little bit colder, but you need to know that the general trend for us tonight will be for areas east to be for the most part dry, while areas west will continue to have that chance for some snow showers. I do want to show you the regional view because you need to see what's headed our way and headed our way is just a little bit more in the way of some lighter precipitation. This is not that heavy. It's light. It's sporadic. It's isolated, but it's still coming towards us, and that means as we head into tonight, even as we head into tomorrow, we're still going to have the chance for some West Slope snow showers. Let's show you the upper level pattern. Finally, this uh, remnant low is going to be pushing away as high pressure will build in. And when high pressure builds in this weekend, that means for us uh, dry and mild conditions. OK, Saturday's dry, Sunday's dry. Both days going to have our fair share of sunshine with maybe Sunday seeing a little more sun than Saturday. We're also going to be at least Friday into Saturday be pretty chilly with some gusty winds. I think by Sunday we're going to warm things up and have less wind around temperatures right now 33 in hot springs it's 40 with 47 roanoke upper 40s at smith mount lake and also in lynchburg lower 50s in martinsville cold weather returns later this week no doubt looks like friday morning going to have lows anywhere between 29 and 37 that's tomorrow morning saturday morning could even be colder with lows about 28 to 36 so <laughs> moral of the story here is this we had a nice taste of summer earlier in the week now we're getting a taste of winter. Please do not plant until we warm up. OK, this little cold spell, the snap that we're under right now could be the last one we have. So please don't plant anything this weekend. Wait until next week or next weekend. And at that point in time, it looks like we're not going to be as cold with our next cold snap pushing in. The freeze potential is there. Could have patchy frost Friday morning, could have patchy frost Saturday morning. The one thing I will say is, is so long as the winds are pretty strong, that should prevent a lot of frost from developing. I think the best chance for frost will actually come Sunday morning as we're going to be cold and we're going to have less wind around at that point. Winds right now sustained anywhere between about 10 and 20 miles per hour for the most part. Strongest winds, as you would expect, in Hot Springs and also in Withville. Winds not quite as strong as you head, say, towards south side. Sustained winds tomorrow likely going to be anywhere between about 25 and 40 miles per hour. Today, they were that way. Tomorrow, they're going to be that way, too. So, again, winds are going to be a factor for us here through Saturday. Then they will weaken on Sunday. So hold on to those hats for at least one more day. Overnight tonight, we're looking at lows anywhere between about 32 and 38. We're going to be colder. We're going to be blustery. We're going to have that chance for some upslope snow showers outside of the west slope areas. We should be, for the most part, pretty quiet. Gusty winds tomorrow, still cool. Going to be partly sunny. More sun east, more clouds west. Highs tomorrow, 40s and 50s. 50s east, 40s west. Makes sense because out east, you're going to see a little more sunshine. Temperatures are back into the 60s on Sunday, near 70 on Monday, and we're well into the 70s Tuesday through Thursday of next week. Weekend looks good. More clouds on Monday, which hopefully won't hamper our viewing of the solar eclipse. Regardless, by Tuesday and Wednesday, the rain chances go up and thunderstorm chances may come back into play one week from today.